Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this React Native video, we will going to start a new project for the React Native. The project name is, you can see that the Resto. Here we will make the curd application of the restaurant as well as the login and authentication things and the profile uh, module also. So these are the modules of our project. So first of all, we will install the project and we will install the JSON server APIs why we are going to use the json server apis because if you are just going to make the apis with the node php or something python something else then it will take the too much time with the react native and we just want to focus on specifically on the react native not on the backend that's why the json server apis are pretty simple and easy to use even you don't need to set up any backend language the database anything there is a small laravel json server and it will just provide the everything that you need. All right, complete, put, get, uh, search, uh, APIs, everything that you just need. All right, then we will add the navigation so that we can just go through the from one screen to the another screen. And uh, this screen will be the list of the API. We will add the new restaurant. We will see that how we can uh, update the restaurant, delete the restaurant. Then we will go for the authentication module and the profile setting and the profile uh, like how we can change the image and uh, name and the password and all after that we will also see that how we can just successfully logged out and uh, how we can protect the screen which is uh, if we are not logged in they should not be accessible and all and after that uh, we have to uh, see that how we can change the application icon make a build and install it in the mobile also and these are the complete project module after that let's go for uh, the steps that we are going to cover in this video so first of all we will install the new application as well as a json server please guys keep in mind your environment and your android studio it should be already installed i'm not going to uh, tell you that how we can install the uh, android studio because it will take the lots of time and this is not a part of video but still if you need uh, that you are stuck as anywhere in the installing the react native uh, environment and the uh, android studio then i will help you you can just comment me out all right so uh, and we will just run the application in the simulator and we will check the json server in the browser also all right and we will create a very first minimal api also so now let's run the or open the command terminal and here we will just see that where we just want to install the uh, our application so first of all I will just go for the dashboard and uh, then we will go for uh, a, a, a react native folder right and this folder is empty here you can see that guys if you are using the Ubuntu you are using the window or you are using the Mac the everything will be same there is nothing to change I am just going to use, use the Ubuntu system here so just write here npx react native uh, in it and your project name so let's say my project name is resto and let's hit the enter Right. So it will just take a moment around two to three minutes or maybe sometime more depend on the internet speed also. So to save the video length and our time, I am just going to pause this video because command is running. We are not going to face any kind of problem within running command. All right. So here you can see that our application is installed and now we have to make a build. So now let's run another command react native run android okay so actually we have to go inside the folder of uh, resto then we have to run the command and just run it so build is also ready and now we just have to start the project so just right here react native uh, start right and now it will just uh, start to making the build Here you can see that so it will just take uh, around one minute to 
just make completing the bundle and uh, here you can see that it's just starting the bundling, bundling the file here right so yeah so sometime we application because uh, my emulator is hanged sometime so just click on this rest application and let's see what's going on with it yeah yeah so the output is here so now let's run this application uh, let's open this application inside the code editor just write a code dot ah, this is not code dot uh, perfect so after just uh, taking this out we will install the JSON server also so it will just take around uh, two to three minutes so this is also easy process but Android Studio take the lots of time for making the pails and installing the first initialization and all right so this is a little bit heavy yep. and here you can see that my PC is seriously just cracked up so everything is just running slow even my computer RAM is 16 GB but still you can see that right so this is the heaviest thing I have seen in the computer <laughs> till now right so here you can see that uh, this is the app.js is the first file where you just can make your first change it is a lots of code so now let's make it blank and uh, let's check it out the output inside the emulator also so this is the style I can just going to remove this style and I will tell you from the very scratch everything that how we can just set up the uh, style and all but for a moment let's just clean up everything which is not required to us all right and here let's take one uh, text and uh, we can write here hello rest something and this is just getting refreshed mm -hmm. Yep, so we got the output here perfect so now let's go on the browser and let's see that how we can just install the JSON server and I will show you with the official documentation also so just right here JSON server and uh, you have to go on your the first link the JSON server and let's open the folder also where you just want to install it or store it so I am just going to make a folder with the name of let's say uh, new folder DB right just rename it db and inside it let's make one more oh, what's going on yep now let's make a one more file here with the name of let's say db.json or you can put any name like a database or whatever you want now we have to install this package globally here you can just find the command line and then install and you can install it anywhere so just write here npm install and minus g json server so in the ubuntu or uh, mac if you are uh, installing a, something in globally which is minus g then we have to choose the sudo let's choose a sudo and put the password and uh, now it will just going to install here all right so here what we have to do in the uh, db.json file we can just enter some dummy data so that we can check out the output here so let's get this dummy data and uh, put this data inside the db.json file uh, really really slow my pc is Uh, put in data here and let's save it for a moment and uh, for run this application we have to run json server minus minus watch or your file name it should this command should be run on your folder where you just put your db.json file right so let's come back here and let's go inside the db right there is a no db file 
okay then let's go back and uh, alright so now here we can see that we have a db.json file so just run here json minus server and uh, then just write here minus minus watch db.json file and we can hit the enter so uh, now uh, it will just run your application on the 3000 port and uh, we will see some dummy APIs also here you can see that there is three APIs the URL with it and this is the home link so I am just going to home link open first of all and I will show you what kind of UI is here here you can see that this is the three APIs so let's go on the profile API here you can see that this is a type code and the name and if I just go on the post API it will there is also a very small APIs so uh, even we are not going to use these APIs we, these APIs are, are just coming from the uh, this dummy stuff so we will just enter here some uh, uh, you can see that uh, restaurant uh, data and then uh, there is the all APIs will work here like get post put patch delete every API every operation will work here we can just send the data from postman to this uh, file also with the APIs in the next video we will just check it out that how this complete server will work so that you will just get the familiar and you never need to get a backend when you are when just making the uh, dummy react native application all right so bye bye for now take care don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video